Now we turn our attention to sports and South Africa's very first team of sitting volleyball players will soon be jetting off to Kigali in Rwanda next week for the Africa Sitting Volleyball Championships. A massive step up for a very new team. The tournament will see the continent's very best players battling it out for the title of African Para Volley champion so ahead of their epic tournament two members of the south african sitting volleyball team are with us here this morning very warm welcome to coach anton ramondo and fabian muller guys thank you so much for joining us great, great to yes. to connect with both of you enjoying the, the south african flag thank you so much Please. we are a fiercely patriotic <laughs> show um anton i'm going to start with you because i'm uh, just getting a bit of background into the the team this is very fresh and new from a south african sporting perspective but obviously your connection to the sports goes way, way back uh, i think and you obviously have an emotional connection to it yeah. How, what did it take to get the South African team set up? Give us a bit of context. Well, the sport is completely new in South Africa. It started about three and a half years ago. Uh, we built it from scratch. Uh, we literally had to recruit players, uh, create awareness about the sport, build clubs, run training programs for coaches. Uh, and it started here in Cape Town, um, and it's expanded. We've now running uh, programs across the country. Uh, Limpopo's got uh, a whole lot of teams established. Um, and yeah, it's, most, most people have never played uh, volleyball before, so we've had to literally train them from scratch. I mean, I think Fabian's one of the exceptions. He used to play for the South African youth team when he was, uh, before he lost his leg. Uh, and our captain, Garth Spencer Smith, he also used to play for, for one of the regular volleyball teams before he, before he lost his leg. But the rest of the guys we've uh, built up from scratch. That's brilliant. Now, and you've obviously been a big part of that as a, as a leader within that mix. What transfers from able-bodied to this discipline? How did you find making that transition? Well, for me, it was it was quite easy, but um, with the movements, it's very difficult. Um, once you go from standing volleyball to sit seated volleyball, it's it's uh, way different because your your torso has to be flat on the floor, and uh, um, you have to like slide on the floor. Um, with a standing volleyball, you run, or you yeah you run. But with the seated volleyball, you have to slide. So, yeah. Um, and I would yeah. imagine the core strength involved in something like it, because there's a lot of fast twitch. That's and it's, a it, lot. From what I've seen, it's played at an unbelievably fast pace. So now you're, you're really going to get a test. Yeah. Um, we know that the team is clearly gelling well together, but how much of a step up is it now for the African champs? It's, it's big. I mean, this is the first time that many You took a breath there as you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be a fantastic challenge. Um, we're obviously playing against the, the best in Africa. Uh, and this is the first time the African team is formed and competing abroad. Uh, many of the guys haven't been overseas before. Uh, so it's going to be a huge learning experience, very exciting, really looking forward to it, um, and a good challenge for us. So what's the goal, Fabian? Are we, are we going to win it? Are we going to get experience? Where's your headspace at? Oh, well, personally, I'm going for the experience. So we're aiming up high. Um, I would love to say we're going to like top it, or yeah but we're gonna do our best that is yeah we're gonna do our best. absolutely <laughs> no doubt that this is a, a very brave new step in a, in a fantastic direction so well done on all of your efforts so i know you have a very busy life and this is um very important to you personally as yeah. well but i think the team that's an, a golden opportunity for them as well to, yeah. to put south africa on the map which we absolutely love so thank you so much for joining us and and all the best of luck out Great, there. thank you very much uh, and make thank sure you. that you support the lads online as well they need our support as viewers there's huge amounts of sponsorship involved we need to support sports like these to get these teams over to compete more internationally